Hello Techies, welcome to LinuxHelp.com. Today I am going to show you how to install a Zone Minder, your video surveillance software system on your Ubuntu 16.04 version. Actually, it is an easy 11 step process. So, before we start, let me give an intro about uh, Zone Minder. It is a fully featured open source video surveillance software system. And also, you can monitor your home, office, or wherever you want using the shell hardware with any camera. You can design a system as large or as small as you need. So, the purpose people using the Zone Mind is for home security, theft prevention and also a industrial and commercial security so why does a zone minder is so awesome because it is a free and an open source software and also you are in control of your own data and even it is easy to install from a package or a source and also they have a new mobile app zetum ninja from where you can monitor your surveillance video system so let's start with the installation procedure it is recommended to use a Ubuntu server and select a LAMP option during the installation. Let's start with the LAMP installation. First install a task cell if not installed by default. Now it has been installed. Now use this command to install your LAMP server setup. During this installation, it will ask you to set up a master by root password for the MySQL. You can simply skip and continue to the installation procedure of a LAMP server setup. Please note that you have to be a root user to perform this operation or else you have to use a sudo command. So the first step is over. Now moving to the second step, you have to update your repository. First add the zone minder repos. Press enter. Now the repository has been added. Now we have to update the repo and upgrade. Now the repo has been updated, the next step will be upgrade. It takes a bit time. Now the upgrade has been done. So you may also add to do a additional disk upgrade to the repository. So now the second step has been done. The third step is configuring the MySQL file. So the certain new defaults in MySQL 5.7 are currently causing some issues with the zone minder. So the workaround is to modify the SQL mode setting of the MySQL. So let's see how to modify the SQL mode. So before that it is better to manage the MySQL server. It is to recommend to copy the sample configuration file and replace the default my.cnf symbolic link. So this removes the current symbolic link. Now let's copy the sample configuration file and replace the default my.cnf symbolic link. So it has been copied now. So in order to change the MySQL settings, open a my.cnf file.
so here go to the mysql d section and add the following so this is the mysql d section we have to make an entry here So why we are using a uh, no engine substitution here is uh, with a new upgrade to MySQL 5.6.20 update uh, updates and inserts fail unless we set the SQL mode equal to no engine substitution. So that's why we are uh, making the SQL mode is equal to no engine substitution. So the entry has been made. Now save the file and then exit. Now we have to restart the MySQL. So the step three is done. The fourth step will be installing a zone minder. apt get install. zone minder so now the installation takes place now the zone minder installation has been done so that is uh, enough with the fourth step the fifth step will be configuring the zone minder database so now we gonna configure the zone minder database using mysql so enter this command and it will prompt for a password and it is not necessary so just press enter so now we are configuring it to the Zenmap user at the host name and everything. So just press enter. That's it done with the step five. And now it's gonna be the step six. So now we're gonna set permissions. Now we have to set a permission to zone my the corner file. So I am giving a 740 permission so the next step is to fix the ownership of the zone minder configuration file so that it can be read by the apache user www data using the following command that's it done with the step 6 now the apache needs to be configured to serve the zone minder web interface the first step is to disable the default apache page and enable zone minder configuration file there are also some uh, apache modules that need to be enabled for zone minder to function properly so this can be accomplished with the following commands so we are now enabling a corner for, for zone minder And then last step will be rewriting the enabling module. So done with the step seven. Now the step eight will be enable and start the zone minder. Then start a zone minder service. So the service has been started now. We are done with the step eight. Now the step nine gonna be, we have to edit a time zone in our PHP file. So in order to edit the time zone in the PHP file, 
php.ini here you have to find the date search for date now the date section has been found remove the semicolon here and then please select your time zone now I have added my time zone here Asia Kata. Now save the file and then exit. So the ninth step has been done. The last step will be reloading the Apache service. So every setup has been done now. Now we gonna go to the browser and check whether the our zone minder configuration has been done. Now we have to open a browser and check should bring up the zone minder console. I am opening a Firefox browser now. Now we have to give our uh, IP address or host name. I am giving my IP address here. and slash zone minder so this is how your zone minder console looks so the configuration has been set up successfully now you can monitor your video surveillance system from here in the next upcoming videos we will walk through the configuration of storage cameras and alerts within the zone minder console so thank you for watching this tutorial. Goodbye from linuxhelp.com. Hey, if you like our channel, please don't forget to subscribe. For more videos, please do visit www.linuxhelp.com. And also mail us to support.linuxhelp.com for further queries.